Our cover story tonight is about a 21-year-old man who may have aborted Ukraine's spring offensive against Russia by leaking some of the most serious war secrets. A 21-year-old who until recently was living a life of obscurity but is now America's public enemy number one. This is the individual I'm talking about, Jack Teixeira, a youthful-looking U.S. Air National Guardsman. He has been identified as the prime suspect in the leak of classified intel documents from the Pentagon. The same leak that has shaken America's allies, revealed top-secret war plans and delighted America's foes. This 21-year-old was the admin of a chat group where the documents first surfaced about a week ago. And since then, American agencies led by the FBI have been chasing the man who caused such devastating harm. On Thursday evening, he was finally arrested. Have a look at these images. They are from North Dighton. They show the suspect dressed in red shorts with his hands behind his back, being placed in a utility vehicle by heavily armed federal agents. In fact, reports say his family has a history of military service and that he too wanted to join the military. Why then would he potentially endanger U.S. national security is the immediate question. Why would he leak such highly classified documents? Well, if we go by his chats and the testimonies of his friends, this seems to be a tale of youthful exhibitionism. He was apparently trying to impress his friends. He would write messages heavy with jargon, use acronyms to describe classified information, and then leak the actual documents. This was all in a bit, apparently, to show off. And the chat group which he operated had around a dozen young members. They would call him the OG, short for original gangster. They describe him as a young charismatic gun enthusiast who was older than most people in that group and appeared keen to make an impression. Well, it was definitely like not the brightest idea you ever had, you know, uh, um, obviously, if you go on Minecraft, like, it's online, like, anybody can play, you know, it's, like, for everybody to see. So, uh, the fa fact that, like, it was spread on there, like, I'm not surprised it got so, like, it's spread it everywhere, and everybody knows about it now. It's nuts. Nothing like this has ever happened around here. Like, this is a very small, very small community. Everybody knows each other. It's, like, it's not... And again, I don't want to slander the kid because I really didn't know him, but I, I knew of him went to high school with him. Now, whatever be the case, the question here is, how on earth did he access the documents? How did someone so young get access to such sensitive files? No one knows. And if they know, they aren't revealing how. The full truth will perhaps come out one day, but in stuttering stages, mixed with red herrings that lead you astray. But here's what the authorities are presuming. According to his military documents, Texera was stationed at the Otis Air National Guard base. This base is home to America's 102nd Intelligence Wing. And through his security clearance here, he had access to an internal Defense Department computer network called, called the Joint Worldwide Intelligence Communication System, or JWICS. And American officials say that access to this system would have given him the ability to read and potentially print classified documents. How exactly? Well, he was a tech support staffer. And the authorities suspect that he could have hacked their systems. And we thought America had some of the most advanced security systems in the whole world. You see... All it took was a 21-year-old to burst that bubble. 
My point is simple here. This entire episode is embarrassing to say the least. The reverberations have spread from Kiev to Seoul to almost every major capital around the world. They have not only exposed America's security apparatus, but also caused significant damage to America's foreign policy, all thanks to a 21-year-old. And remember, we have been telling you how ever since the documents came out, a lot of American allies have been upset over how Washington was spying on them. One of them happens to be South Korea, of course. According to reports, the leaks contain private conversations between a host of South Korean officials regarding their stance on the Russia-Ukraine war. And reports now say the South Korean president is in two minds about his state visit to the U.S. That's right. He was supposed to go to Washington later this month. The first visit, in fact, by a South Korean leader in 12 years. And reports now say it might not happen. You see, the UN government fears it might upset the people who are already criticizing the government bitterly for its silence. You think that's bad? Then have a look at this report. Suddenly, Ukraine has stopped talking about its spring counteroffensive against the Russian offensive. And why is that? Because the leaked documents have revealed that America knew the offensive would fall short, that Ukraine would not be able to make any big gains due to apparent weaknesses in its capabilities. So a clearly alarmed Kiev has decided to stall. It's blaming the weather and slow equipment deliveries for this. But it doesn't quite take a genius to guess the actual reasons. So at the end of the day, this is what we have. American allies are under pressure to act on these leaks. Ukraine, meanwhile, is delaying its spring offensive due to these leaks as Pentagon officials race against time to control the damage. Who would have thought a 21-year-old junior level officer would be the reason behind such colossal humiliation of his country, America? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.